Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. Today we have your week ahead reading. I add this every weekend to help you out with the week to come, anything for you to do to avoid also extra card for your love life and your finances this week. And if you're new, consider subscribing. All my links are below if you want to have a private reading with me or anything from my Etsy shop. The crystals you see in front of you and much more is there. Also those bracelets here and there's much more there. And if you want to get something for you or for someone as a gift, we do have winter sales going on. So don't miss that. Also, I wanted to thank all my patrons for all the support. And if you wanted to connect with me through patrons, check my links below. And there are many ways for you to support this channel. Today, we have three options. Group one is with the Druid Craft. I'll show you the card here. The, the, the box is a huge box for this one. So just so you know which one you're choosing. Group two, it's with the angels tarot okay group two and group three it's with the beautiful creatures another big box <laughs> so beautiful creatures here for group three so whichever one calls your attention first is most likely the right one but of course you can watch the full video see which one resonates the most as always my details the cards that i use a week for you to support this channel everything will be on the description below again guys group one druid craft two angels tarot and three beautiful creatures. Timestamp below. Thanks for watching. Hi, group one. If you chose the Jewel Craft Tarot, we'll start with the week to come or whenever you're watching this, the first uh, first couple of days. This is a huge deck. <laughs> so I have to shuffle this way. So Monday, Tuesday, or the first two days. King of Wands. Halfway through the week or Wednesday, Thursday, whenever you're watching this. Three of Wands. Also for the weekend or the last few days, whenever you're watching this. Four of Cups. Extra card here for your love life. We'll see in a bit whether you are in a relationship or not. For your finances, whether you're working or not. Finances this week. And an advice of the week, energy of the week, anything here that can help you guys. I'm going to get extra oracle cards, but we start with this. And we do have King of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Cups. So you start this week here very focused. The King of Wands can be someone specifically here. So we're talking uh, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But also the energy here of connecting with uh, your fire sign, your you know, fire, that fire, that passion in your heart. What do you really want to do this week? I feel like it's a lot of focus to be able to manifest something, to be able to, to see things moving, especially if you felt a bit stuck lately and the, the guides are telling you, you can push this energy. You can make things move this week. So it could be a week that you have a lot of things to do as well. And with focus here, you're able to manifest anything you want. And also trust, you know, your fire, your passion regarding careers, regarding connecting with someone with a loved one, and they're telling you what you do here the first two days will help you to see things moving, progressing. We do have three of ones halfway through the week here. So really shows you looking ahead, seeing the path ahead. So whatever you choose, you decide to communicate here at the beginning of the week. What you do, the action that you take, you'll be able to see here the path. So maybe if you felt stuck. You know, the energies of this week is opening up here and you can see ahead your options. What do you want to do? Making goals, focusing here and be able to trust here that there is something that is going to come. This is a light at the end of the tunnel as well. Many times when we are stuck or we are into challenges and we do have a chance here to see. So anything that felt difficult, guys, until now or this week or even this month, this is a week of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, being able to make your plans, your goals could be new year goals as well. If you're watching this straight away, we are at the end of the year. So it really feels like that focus, that goal, you know what you want. So if there was any doubt before, there is a lot of focusing and decisions here with this King of Wands. Also comes the weekend, we do have the Four of Cups. The energy of the Four of Cups is when we are very focused on us and we miss an opportunity. So pay attention there. That's not because you have to miss. You know, remember, I do this with this for something that you can do or avoid. You can avoid missing an opportunity by the weekend, by the last few days here, because there is something that's coming as an offer. Could be someone 
you know, could be offering their feelings, you know, because it's the cups, emotions here with your feelings. So it could be a love connection, but it could be something that can be good for you that, um, you know, can resonate with your heart. But you do need to trust your intuition to not, you know, just focusing on yourself and forget what's around you. So there's some kind of offer coming away. So just pay attention to what is around you guys, because it really feels like this offer is coming. Love connections, uh, something that's going to resonate with your heart, could be even career, but you know, it's something that uh, you need to pay attention to what's around you. So sometimes we very focused on what we need ourselves or something that's going on. We you know when we focus on stress, negativity, there could be a lot of things distracting you as well. So just make sure you don't miss opportunities comes this weekend because there's some kind of offer coming away. Most likely love connections. Okay. So even if you are in a relationship, maybe a person wants to spend more time with you, you're not, uh, you know, paying attention to them. Could be something like that. But if you're not, you know, some kind of love connection here could be someone approaching you because it's the end of the year, trying to reach out to you. There's this opportunity coming. So just look around and you see that coming your way. But for your love life specifically here, so we get a card here so we know what's going on as well. So for uh, love here, whether you are in a relationship or not, Queen of Cups. And you can see here the Queen of Cups, the energy here of your feelings, your intuition, your emotions. Being able to trust your intuition this week is going to be very important, especially by the weekend, okay, guys, especially by the last few days, whenever you're watching this. I feel like this is, for many of you, a love connection that's trying to come, but you need to trust your intuition to really decide here, what do you really want? Who do you really want in your life? You know, there's something coming, there's someone coming. Do you want them? Is your chance here to take this opportunity or to let go completely? Of course, it's your choice. What do you want to do with this energy coming away? But it really feels like there's an energy coming, Decide here, trust your intuition. Again, if you're in a connection, maybe you need to trust here to spend more time with your person, to talk, to have uh, deep conversations, to trust here how you feel and share how you feel as well. So it really feels here, guys, pay attention, something happening, trust your intuition this week for your love life, okay? Also energy here of um, water signs, okay? So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? So male or female, just giving you the energies here. For your career, whether you are working or not, we do have four of swords, another four. The energy of the four of swords is when we need to have patience, when you can take a break here just to make sure we learn from the past. So maybe you're waiting here for some kind of news, maybe job offers or, you know, a position that you apply or even your own business, things that you need to do. The four of swords ask you to have patience and organize yourself. Maybe you need to organize paperwork, documents, anything that you need to do. Make sure you don't waste time. Take the time that maybe you are off work or off of school or anything that you need to do right now to organize yourself because you can get ahead of things. So I feel like it's just preparing yourself. Have patience here. You know, things are being built here because the four gives you the energy of one, 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 one as well. You know, the wishes coming true, the energy of synchronicities, but you need to build the foundations and the foundations is on the communication as well. So if you wanted to reach out, if you wanted to investigate, get more information, you know, whether it's on a position or on, you know, more information about something that you wanted to study or just get more knowledge, you know, more skills. So just go deeper here and take time here as well. Don't need to rush into anything, but you definitely need some information and take time here, you know, so things are being built anyway. So maybe you have been going through interviews or connections, you know, sending your CV everywhere and you're waiting here. So something is going to come anyway, or even results here of your studies. So everything you're doing right now, you're building foundations for your career that is to come. The guys are just telling you, have a little bit of patience, things are aligned for you. And for an advice of the week or energy of the week, we do have the two of cups. Nice, because the energy of the week is you do have deals, connections coming. You see here, the connection again with the heart here. You can see the lover's connection. This is also, you know, the, the twin flame energy, soulmate energy connecting, but also business deals. So you do have deals coming. Again, here, guys, is under the four. So remember here the energy of not missing this opportunity. For many of you, you do have a love connection this week. So remember that so you don't miss this because it's just aligning. Things are aligning here. And in general, the energy of the week is, you know, you can find compromises, you can find middle ground, you can find the balance with things that you wanted to do, to accomplish, to resolve, or who you wanted to have around you. Because, you know, the two of cups is when two sides are happy with the resolutions. So if there's something for you to do, to resolve, remember here to find the middle ground, to find the compromise as well. And balancing things will be able to, you know, manifest more, 
resolutions that are happy here because the two of cups is normally you are happy with the resolution you know with the, your emotions you're happy with that so it is a good thing for you i do want to add a couple of extra cards here for you anyway group one any other focus anything else the guys wanted to focus on to help you with they tell you manifestation and blessings wow what did they say you know the connection here the two of cups something someone coming manifestation and blessings this week guys okay so don't miss opportunities pay attention what's around you want to communicate that fire of the king of wands go for it you know so don't miss any of that and for anything else here any other focus anything that can be helpful here for group one your intuition is right is it here queen of cups energy especially on your love life remember here Trusting your intuition this week is going to be very important because you can open the doors for the manifestation, for the blessings to come your way. So don't miss that, guys, because it really feels here, especially with the energy of the week being the two of cups, it's like the connection. Maybe something that you're waiting for a long time. It could be a business connection. It could be a love connection. It could be just something that you need to connect in your heart, that you know in the right path. But you know your intuition is right. You can open manifestation and blessings this week. No doubt. You can see here that focus, the tree of wands, being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, be able to have your goals, your visions, things manifesting and opening for you again. So don't miss opportunities. This is a good week for you. Trust your intuition. That's what I have here for you, group one. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. The crystals is in front of you and much more is there. If you're new, consider subscribing, like and share this video. It helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely week. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two. If you chose the angel tarot, we start with your week ahead. So just Monday, Tuesday, or whenever you're watching this, the first two days. Monday, Tuesday, group two. We do have just this straight away. Halfway through the week, Wednesday, Thursday, we have eight of air, and the weekend, the last few days here, do have the word. So for your love life, whether you are in a relationship or not, we'll see that in a bit. For your career, whether you're working or not, career finances this week. An advice of the week or energy of the week. We'll see that in a bit. I'll have more oracle cards, but just to start with this, we do have justice, eight of air, the word. So it really feels like you start the week here. You see, you do have Archangel Ragel to help you here straight away. Okay. We do have fair and just decisions. Do what know is right. Do what know is right and stand up for your beliefs. The energy of justice is bringing balance okay so fairness decisions here that you feel like uh, are coming aligning for you bringing more balance so anything that felt maybe out of balance here for you especially the previous weeks or it was just difficult i feel like organizing justice serving your way justice is also a lot of documents paperwork maybe you're studying you're finishing projects you're organizing things for the end of the year or you're organizing documents in general you're really planning what you're going to do. It really feels like you have all of that energy in the first two days here. And a lot of fairness, you know, just energy. So if you feel like uh, things were unfair or, you know, without a balance before, this is, you know, the week that you see that balance coming in. Because eight of air, you can see here there's a lot of stress sometimes in our heads and we feel a bit stuck, you know, and we don't really realize it's not as difficult as you may be thinking. Because you can see here halfway to the week, the message here is an illusion of being trapped. You know, a lack of self-confidence, afraid of taking action. So anything here that you may be feeling afraid or feeling stuck is just an illusion. It's just a perspective that you feel stuck when in reality, you just need to start taking one step towards what you wanted to do manifest. So even if it's on communication, because the air is on communication here as well, communicating, reaching out to someone, if you want to be honest with yourself, whoever's involved there, if you wanted to reach out in some way, the guides are telling you, yes, you can do, but make sure you are taking steps towards it because many times we think and think and we get stuck and trapped in our minds with worries and stress. And the guides are telling you, pay attention to this energy. You know, I do these readings for something you can do or avoid as well. So remember, you can avoid this energy. And also the energy is here of illusions. You know, you feel like you're trapped. In reality, it's not really. 
it's just uh, having the courage to take some steps here whether it's communication doing something and you know because justice is coming away this week so justice also helps with the communication being able to be fair on your decisions so not feel like whatever decision you have to make the beginning of the week you know it was something wrong it is the right thing to do as well even if that means cutting away something that's not serving a place a person an attitude negativities just pay attention to that and don't feel stuck because you can definitely move this week because we have the word and the word is an energy of um, completing cycles and opening here new opportunities for you you also have uh, archangel michael helping you out here this week okay especially by the weekend you can see here a job well done joy contentment and gratitude the path forward enlightenment okay so the path toward enlightenment so you can see here the energy of closing chapters being able to complete cycles many of you could be complete like i said you know projects at work or school things that you needed to complete for the end of the year or going on holidays as well it's a lot of that energy and uh, this is definitely the week that things are closing you're very close you're nearly there and the guides are telling you you're nearly there so well done so whatever you're completing it's going to be a job well done Okay, so anything that maybe fell stuck here because you have so much to do to complete this week, you will. Okay, so this is the week that you see that cycle here. And like I said, many of you could be a lot in your mind thinking this is so difficult. I have so many things to do one step at a time and you will complete and you're going to, you know, really do a good job. It's a job well done as well. And you're going to be happy with your completions, with your resolutions, anything that you need to do this week. But comes the weekend, even if during the week was you know, a lot in your mind and uh, you felt a bit stuck at some point. It was just an illusion because comes the weekend, you're very happy, you're very content with that result and you stay in that gratitude mind frame, looking forward to the new cycles starting for you. So really a good energy to end the week. And I wanted to add extra credit for your love life, whether you are in a relationship or not. The sun, wow. The energy here, Archangel Uriel and also the sun, you know, the happiness, happy outcome, brilliant news that uh, lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Wow, the sun here for your love life, you know, there's some good news coming. Could be a connection with someone, maybe someone you want in your life, you know, new or coming back or even the energy of, you know, going deeper on your connection if you're already with someone. But you can see here the sun, it's a happy outcome, something that maybe you're waiting here. No, maybe waiting to hear from someone or maybe to see how things would go. And it's a positive outcome. You know, happiness can come your way. And um, also good news. Maybe someone is reaching out to you. You know, especially comes the end of the year when people want to connect with you. Even if it's like to wish you for, you know, the new year, the holiday season. It really feels like you have a connection here that uh, is going to be very positive. So good things coming this week for your love life, guys. So expect blessings there. And for your career finances, whether you're working or not, you do have page of fire, the energy of things moving. You see, outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. So there's a lot of energy here of fire, passion, focusing here on what you want to do. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your or originality and ingenuity. So you can see here, news here, guys, an opportunity to maybe... You know, start a new page, a new journey. Maybe some of you getting good news of uh, job offers. Maybe you're waiting or just uh, ideas. What you wanted to, you know, go for it because maybe you wanted to do your own business, to have your own business, to do things for yourself. Not that confidence here, Be being very creative to start something new, to not being afraid of the new because this is new. You know, it's a new path as well, but new endeavors. So you can see here it could be. You know your own business could be new positions could be just ideas of what you want to study and you know it's going to be serving you in your career as well anything that's necessary here for you to keep moving forward you know there's a door opening here for you guys so don't miss great opportunities here for your career money coming your way ideas creativity that can generate your extra money maybe a side job you know so focus here and trust that fire that passion in your heart and for energy of the week or just an, an advice of the week here for you. We do have seven of earth. A lot of hard work here. Seeds well planted. A temporary pause in action. Unnecessary worry. So remember here, guys. Remember, especially halfway through the week when there's some worry, some stress in your mind. The guys are telling you it's just in your mind. Unnecessary worry this week. The energy is seeds are well planted. You see here your job well done. So everything that you need to do this week, you will be able to accomplish. Or even things that was not just for this week, you know, things are coming. Like I said, work, projects, school, anything that, uh, you know, you needed to complete 
They are telling you your seeds were well planted. You can rest now. Temporary pause is action, in action. So you can just see the results of your hard work and analyze what do you want to do from now. So I feel like you're gonna have, uh, you know, that chance here to pause to see the results, to be happy with them, and to be able to look here ahead. What do you want to do now and plan, especially with these energies of new here, new career, in in things that you wanted to do, manifest. But remember, there's a lot of uh, balance that is coming back. Justice here as well, especially when we are out of balance or you felt maybe out of balance throughout the, the past weeks. This is the week that you see that, you know, finally, even if you have some stress, you realize that was for nothing, you know, unnecessary worry, because in reality, it was just an illusion of being trapped. I was really able to do everything and complete everything. So no doubt happiness coming your way, especially love life here, new ideas, creativity for your career as well. And the week of justice here, getting rid of any worries, okay? And I wanted to add extra cards here. Anything here that can be good for you guys, any focus, any advice here for group two from the guides, anything else here for you? We do have synchronicity and signs. Lovely. You know, when this card comes, the guides are sending you signs. Especially when we stay a lot in your mind, in your head, or stressing out, the guides will send you signs, okay? It's time to stop. Pay attention here. You know, focus on what you can do and what, not what you cannot do. It's just one step at a time. So I feel like there'll be a lot of synchronicity signs. Alignment here. Just as being served for you. So pay attention to signs this week. Repeated numbers, 11-11. Repeated animals coming your way, or maybe a music, you know, some kind of sign here, maybe lucid dreams, because it could be signs for you to, you know, for, for something for you to decide, for you to do, for you to release as well. But I feel like you're going to get few signs this week. So pay attention, because it can be very, very helpful. And also letting go, okay? So remember here with the Eight of Swords energy, we don't need it to let go. Sometimes it's stress, overthinking, and the negativity. Or something you feel in your heart that you felt trapped. In fact, you know, it's a week here that uh, you can let go of any worries. Okay, so there's a lot of unnecessary worry that uh, is just there for no reason. It's just maybe to teach you that you don't need to stay in that energy. So let go of any energies that are not serving this week because you do have signs. I feel like the guys will be sending you signs when it's time to let go, when it's time to stop, when it's time to reset as well. And, um, you know, just uh, pause and just enjoy here what you have been doing because there's a lot of hard work payback this week. So don't forget that here. There's a lot you can do, a lot you can accomplish. And when you realize your yeah, balance can be restored and when you let go of any worries and stress, there's a lot of blessings to come this week. That's what I have here for your group too. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any of the questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. The crystals you see in front of you and much more is there. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like and share this video. It helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely week. Thanks for watching. Hi, group three. If you chose the beautiful creature Staro, we start with Monday, Tuesday. Or whenever you're watching this, the first two days. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, group three. We do have Nine of Swords. Wednesday, Thursday, halfway through the week, the word. And comes the weekend or the last few days, whenever you're watching this. Do have Empress. An extra card here for your love life, whether you're in a relationship or not. For group three. You'll see that in a bit. For your career finances whether they're working or not and for energy of the week or advice of the week for group three we'll see that in a bit so just to start here guys you do have uh, monday tuesday with nine of swords some anxiety some stress maybe a lot in your mind maybe there are many things you need to do accomplish this week but you can see here there's some stress anxiety beginning of the week this, I, I do those readings, you know, for something you can do or avoid as well. And remember the Nine of Swords, it's when we are a lot in our minds and we don't see that uh, maybe the resolution is not as difficult as we think. We need to just take one step at a time and get out of that, uh, you know, staying so much in our heads. So I really feel like the guides are telling you, Monday, Tuesday, there could be some stress. It could be people around you stressing you out, causing you some anxiety. 
but it's just the energy that you can step out. Nine is also close to close to a completion. You know, the energy of uh, coming to 10 when you complete something. So you could be very close to resolving things, completing things, projects, school, work, anything you need to do this week. Or maybe you have a long list of things you want to do. It's close to holiday season. So you could be, you know, busy. But the guys are telling you, don't stay too much in your head. Don't overthink. You know, when we overthink and we don't do anything, we get stuck there. The guys are telling you, you know, it's one step at a time. You can do it. Because look at this. It comes halfway to the week. You do have a completion. And that's what I say about 9 being close to 10 when it's a completion. And you do have the word here confirming that. So there's something you complete this week. Like I said, projects, things for work or just... Uh, like to-do lists that you had and you wanted to do many things for this week, you are able to do it because this is a week here of opening up here. The word also gives you a chance to close some kind of a cycle, you know, things that maybe you had to do or it was just a finishing, completion, and being able to be happy with that because you learn a lot with the word. You know, you give yourself a chance to start a new cycle, new beginnings. So it really feels here that you complete something this week that you're happy about and you're happy to let go as well. You're happy to uh, organize yourself to the next page, the next cycle. You could be also traveling, many of you, with the word card traveling, or at least planning a travel. Maybe you're planning to spend the holiday season with the family, or even for after that. You could be planning, you could be organizing yourself for that. So a lot you know, to do here this week. But you can see how you can definitely manifest what you want this week. It comes to comes the weekend here, the Empress. A lot of creativity, manifestation, you know, the energy of abundance as well, being able to manifest what you want, step in your power. So anything that caused you some stress at the beginning of the week, you know you can complete this week and comes the weekend, you are feeling more in your power. You're feeling like um, you are able to uh, really manifest what you wanted so you can think here, what else can you do? Is the energy here of taking care of yourself, whoever's involved around you, and being able to open doors here of blessings, abundance. And this abundance is not just financial blessings because it's that abundance that you know you are on the right path as well. So there's a lot of decisions, completions, and things for this week that you resolve that makes you step into this power here. So what else you can do? What other doors you can open? What other goals you can have? You could be planning things for the next year already. If you're watching this straight away, it's the end of the year. But it feels like you step into your power. You're really happy about everything you do. Even if it causes you some stress, I feel like you recognize everything was there for a reason. You learn with the, the past, you learn with the mistakes, what you know you are able to accomplish and grow with everything. So no doubt, uh, at the end of the week, yeah, you're feeling really happy, really confident and manifesting. You know you can open any doors. And come see the love life, whether you are in a relationship or not, this week. Ten of Cups. Wow, contentment here. Ten of Cups is the completion of you know achieving here connecting with someone, you know, there's the fulfillment here, the contentment of the heart. So no doubt here in your love life with the Ten of Cups, you know, is that uh, family connection. So maybe you are already in a relationship and you can go deeper here in your connection, spending more time together. But if you're not, you know, you can connect here with someone. And this is water signs here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, and being able to feel really happy. So if someone is contacting you, communicating with you, I feel what you wanted to do, you wanted to have someone in your life here, back in your life or new in your life, I feel like you have this power. Remember the power of the Empress comes the weekend as well. I feel like that can open new doors here for your love life too. And it really is very positive here with this energy of, you know, Ten of Cups is like completion and being able to be happy with those results. So if you wanted to reach out to someone, trust your intuition as well with the Cups, and uh, or if you wanted to allow someone in your life back or in your life or new in your life, you know, this energy here, it's really happy, uh, really fulfilled. So it's a lot of contentment. So whoever's coming in your life this week, I feel like you're happy about that. OK, so pay attention because it's good news, energy and be able to achieve something that maybe you're waiting for a long time. Maybe you're waiting to hear from this person. You know, comes holiday season here, someone reaching out to you. So there's a lot of connections here. So no doubt here, going deeper in your connection or, or allowing someone new, someone back into your life here. There's definitely opportunities here this week. And for your career finances, whether you are working or not, do have uh, the decadence here, abruption. This is the tower, the energy of rebuild here. So some of you could be thinking here, what can I do in my life? Maybe you wanted to do something different. Maybe you want your own business, a different position, apply for a new job, apply for a job. Maybe you want something new here because it really feels that uh, there's something to cut away when it comes with the tower and maybe something that you didn't expect changes changes in your life changes in your job or opportunities that are different than you were thinking here so i feel like uh, pay attention because the 
good thing with the tower is because it gives you an opportunity to build in solid foundations, to do something that you really want. Maybe you wanted for a long time and you didn't give yourself a chance. But this is the week here that you do have a chance here to do something different, to let go of what was not serving. And maybe what was not serving was just uh, fears, insecurities, to try something new. You know, that courage. So to rebuild here, to let go, you know what's not serving, you know you don't like this job, you know this was not good for you, you knew it was not a, a part of a calling, a path, and I feel like it's time. And um, even if it's um, just an idea of what you can do or side the jobs that you can build, this start slowly, and you know you can starting to let go of, you know, the previous job that you don't like or the area that you don't like, or even just, uh, you know, not being unemployed anymore, you know, you can create it your own reality here is even if it's slow, even if it's brick by brick, you know, you getting rid of what's not serving and opening new doors here. So pay attention to ideas, creativity, opportunities, because, you know, it really comes here with the abruption of the tower because it gives you solid foundations. And for an energy of the week or advice of the week, we do have nine of cups. Well, nine of cups is the satisfaction, is the wishes coming true. So I'm telling you, you do have a wish coming through here. For many of you, it could be because of the cups here, could be a connection with someone, maybe you're waiting for a long time or you really wanted the, this connection, whether it's new or going deeper or coming back into your life. Many of you will have a wish coming through of someone communicating with you guys, especially if there was no communication for a while or you just didn't know where this connection was going, no in and out here. A wish coming through, satisfaction, again with the cups, no contentment, satisfaction, really being happy. But in general, it's the energy of the week. Even if there was some anxiety, some stress at the beginning of the week, you know you complete what you want. You know you can step into your power. And you're really happy with that. And this is the guide telling you, make a wish, focus, intentions, affirmations, visualizations. What do you want to manifest in your life? You can do. Even if you need to cut away, let go of the past, of things that maybe were not serving, especially in your career, in your finances. They're telling you, you can rebuild here. So I really feel like it's a lot of... Uh, wishes coming through. There's a lot of manifestations, especially with the Empress and the Nine of Cups here. You know, these energies are very powerful and you step into your power. So I feel like you know you are manifesting this. You are doing this. You're opening this door. So no doubt, beautiful blessings coming here. Satisfaction, which is coming true. I do want to add a couple of extra cards here. Any focus, any advice from the guys for group three? Anything for group three? To have enjoyed the present yeah especially when we get stuck on anxiety and stress remember here what can you focus on that moment that you have some stress here what can you focus to get your mind out of that you know enjoying the present and remember here there's a lot of satisfaction there's a lot of contentment there's a lot of manifestation creativity ideas things that you will be happy about you know you complete things that maybe were difficult this week so you can enjoy the present it's like, okay, finally, I can have some time for me now because, you know, I'm going to have some holidays, some days off here, off work, off school, or just some time here to spend with family, with uh, friends, or anything that you want to do. Maybe you want to just spend time alone. Enjoy yourself. And remember here, the guides are telling you, enjoy the present, you know? So remember to stop here and, um, you know, count your blessings as well because you do have blessings coming away and wishes coming true. Anything else here? Group three... What can you manifest? Patience is essential, you see? Especially when, again, the beginning of the week, when we are with uh, stress, anxiety, the guys are telling you, patience with yourself, whoever's involved there, and you can take one step at a time. And then you're out of that situation. You complete what you need to do. And remember as well, patience is essential. If you are waiting for a while for these completions, for these manifestations, for those blessings to come your way, I feel like the guides are telling you, you know, it was worth the wait. And this is the week of opening those doors, of seeing the results, of seeing things start to unfold here for you and really being happy with the results, no doubt. So completions here, guys, being able to really be happy. Contentment here of the heart, no doubt. So I feel like your patience is being rewarded as well. And patience was essential here for everything that you're able to manifest this week. Yeah, I hope this helps you out here, Group 3. This is what I have for you. Let me know if you want an extension of this reading or any other questions. My link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. The crystals you see in front of you and much more is there. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like and share this video. It helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely week. Thanks for watching.